No one cares. No one cares. We're bitter that you beat Bray. Who's next then? Of course, it's got to be Roman Reigns. Absolutely. So if Roman Reigns is answering Goldberg's Who's Next challenge and their match is going to be official, what does that mean for Elimination Chamber? Because everyone predicted that Roman was going to compete in the chamber and win. But if they're just going to have him come out and be like, yeah, no, I'm facing you at Mania. What happens at Elimination Chamber? Does Goldberg defend in the chamber? Does Brock defend in the chamber? Because either one of them, I'm 100% down for. Having a little face-to-face. -face. There you go. Roman Reigns, the man that never lost the Universal Championship, coming back for the Universal Championship against Goldberg at WrestleMania. But once again, like I just said, what does this mean for Elimination Chamber? The Chamber match is a week from Sunday and we still haven't had any matches inside the Chamber confirmed other than the women's one. No men's matches have been confirmed. What are they going to do? Are we going to see... Lesnar defend? Are we going to see Goldberg defend? We can't have a number one contenders match because it's going to be Drew versus Mac, uh, Drew versus Brock and then Goldberg versus Roman. So the champion surely must defend. I don't know, but Goldberg versus Reigns is on at WrestleMania. The Fiend versus John is on at WrestleMania. It looks all right. I'm still a bit bitter that he lost. You know, I feel like Goldberg's going to be booed out of the building. You know, the only good thing about this is Roman's not going to get booed at WrestleMania now. I think if he beat The Fiend, he would have been booed. But if he's going to beat Goldberg, Goldberg's the one going to be booed. And uh, they're just going to cheer for Roman to win. But I don't know. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.